Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Everybody knows we need to have faith to please God. That's just part of it. And, uh, and they think it's hard. Faith is hard. Faith is really not that hard. No. Because we have to just trust in the Lord. We have the faith that we lay a petition out before him and then sit back and expect to see it. And uh, our expectations is showing that, that we have faith in God. Oh, yeah, sometimes the answer is instantaneously. Sometimes it takes a while. And sometimes it seems like it takes forever. But if you have faith, it will happen. It will happen. And you know, when God gave us a portion of faith, when he made us, he sure did. Many of us, uh, you know, we, we do a lot of talking, but uh, we need to be speaking in faith. Many things we need to speak in faith. Uh, Jesus told us that if we had as much faith as a mustard seed, which is one of the smallest little seeds that God ever made, that we could speak to a tree and it'd be planted in the sea. Now, that sounds impossible, but nothing's impossible for God. No, so we have to have faith. We have to have faith. You know, faith is a word you don't speak. No, you don't go around and, and say, I have faith to do this or I have faith to do that. No, it's in your heart. It's in your heart you have that faith. That faith. And... Uh, so, you know, let, let's, one of the greatest things uh, that I can think of is when uh, Moses stood there at the Red Sea and the Lord told him, you just stretch out your rod and I'll part the sea. Hey, now I'll tell you what. That takes some faith if you stop and think about it. You see, when Moses pointed that stick over the sea, it, God just made a highway through the middle of that sea, and everybody got across. But it took faith in Moses uh, that Moses had that, that God was going to do what he was going to do. And many times we have to step out in faith on many things knowing that God is going to take care of it. Uh, faith is an action. It's an action word. You know, uh, we have a lot of words in, uh, in the dictionary. Not all of them are action words. But faith, although it don't sound like an action word, faith is an action word. Uh, you know, Elisha told the uh, poverty-stricken widow to take the little pot of oil and borrow all the vessels from her neighbors. You remember that story? And, and then she started pouring that little bit of oil that she had. And she filled them up and filled them up and filled them up and filled them up and filled them up. She filled up all the vessels that they had available. And when she was finished, the one that she started out with, that little bitty measure of oil, was finally depleted. But look at all of the oil she had. Now that took faith. That took faith. You know, faith is, is much like a law, not just a promise. You don't have to believe in gravity to know it works, do you? 
No. It's the law of gravity. When Jesus said, Give and it shall be given unto you, it is a spiritual law, gravity. Okay? You don't have to try to have gravity. You just obey the law. That's all you got to do. You just jump out and, hey, gravity pulls you down. Yeah. And faith is, is much like that. It's a law. It's God's law. Is that faith? Uh, so you need to quit thinking and start believing in faith. Uh, you know, because lots of, lots of people suffer a lot of things. And it's a lack of faith. But we need to go ahead and step out. Step out on the end of that diving board, although we know there's no water in there. We have faith in God. And we put that law into order. We dive off of that board into a pool full of water. That's the God we serve. That is the God we serve. So, folks, practice faith. Walk in faith, live by faith, and faith alone. That's how we're supposed to, to live. Remember, speak to the mountain and it shall be moved. Well, may God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for us. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.